Hello everyone, I'm Rashmi Bhandari and today I've got my student Rakshit K. Rakshit is from Mechanical and he has cleared Merchant Navy Anglo-Eastern. So it's a wonderful opportunity for students to get into the Merchant Navy. Uh, I think especially if you're a mechanical, nothing beats the Merchant Navy uh, because you get a core job and you get a great package which is tax free. So Rakshit, uh, congratulations. Thank you ma'am. So the average package somewhere hovers around 14 LPA. So I think everyone you know who's uh, thinking about it should give it a shot. So Rakshit, tell us the uh, eligibility. So first of all about the eligibility, I think uh, in 10th class you should have 50% in English. In 12th you should have 65%. In BTEC also you should have 65%. Also if you are considering diploma, 65% diploma is also mandatory. Okay, that is for those, those who instead of 12th uh, who have yeah. diploma. Right. And then uh, can you tell the rounds? Uh, about the rounds, first we had a CBT, that is a written exam. First we had uh, uh, aptitude, reasoning, mechanical and English, which is around 2 hours for 100 marks. Then we have a psychometric, which is around 300 questions for another 1 hour. So total uh, 3 hour uh, exam is what we had. Okay, so this happened in the college and uh, if it is not coming to your college, you'll have to go to the website and then apply. Now, can you give a little bit more details on the round because, okay, English and all yeah. that, but what was there? I mean, how, how, how tough was it? Uh, basically, it is a medium level of tough, not too tough also. So, for me, I didn't get much aptitude question. Mine was basically a mechanical question and uh, some electrical questions also and some uh, English questions. And mechanical, I got uh, regarding mechanics of material, many questions. Then various charts like psychometric, then electrical question regarding KVL, KCL, then uh, refrigeration concepts, IC engine concepts. So basically they will give you a syllabus. According to that you should prepare yourself. Then my English is also very good so I was able to clear it. Alright, so you, the syllabus uh, copy is there. I think I have it somewhere. I will put it in the description. So maybe you can have a look at it, but you also have it because sometimes you know workload is so much so I may not, can you just share it with yeah. me because I'll have to trace the mail. So the syllabus is already provided. Students I'm telling you, people watch these videos in the final year, please don't watch it because you'll have to do it, you know the preparation beforehand. Okay, so please uh, go through the syllabus and start preparing, it's not so tough. But in spite of saying that, how many cleared? Only one cleared ma'am. Okay, he's the only one who's got it, but how many cleared the aptitude? Because aptitude was sort of, uh, you said medium. Aptitude I think five people cleared. So only five. We have mechanical strength 120, so 5 are clearing yeah. because not everyone is writing either. Alright, so out of the ones who wrote, I think 5 cleared and uh, uh, you know what, please stay on till the end because uh, he will tell you about the course which he has done which actually helped him. Right? Yes, so, yeah, yeah. So I think we'll speak towards that end, so just stay, stick along so that uh, you know Rakshit can talk about what all he has done to prepare for this. Okay, so next round was? Uh, psychometric. Huh. Basically, I took the suggestion from a previous interview video and selected the extreme option like uh, extremely agree or extremely disagree. Oh, you took that yeah, option? Yeah, I took that. that option. So, that helped me a lot, previous interview. And uh, once again, the same thing what he told us that you should remember your answers. They will give the same question and the first question maybe has a 300 question also, same question. So that you guys don't lie. They will catch you in your process if you are lying about your personality. So be honest or at least I'm not recommending this if you're lying at least remember your answers no actually you can't lie yeah, that's it I don't think lie. 300 questions yeah, you can't really you can't lie really. But because your basic personality will come through but maybe two points that you like said I either totally agree or totally disagree yeah. so that it's very clear you're not in between because many times I think people like to be in the safer side yeah. I'm in between tomorrow you say like this oh I'm okay with this I'm okay with that no because let me tell you the sea life is very very difficult it's yeah, a tough life like uh, in Merchant Navy you will be faced with many critical decisions mm -hmm. you can't be unsure about you have to take a very stand in your decision yeah. that's why they uh, like uh, like people who take a clear proper side. decision, yeah, clear yeah. decision. Yeah, so good that you added on. And I think that this was uh, done by our uh, alumni, no? what's his name? Uh, Abhishek. Abhishek. Uh, if you watch Abhishek's video, uh, you know, you will get this because everyone is actually telling the same thing. And Rakshit is just repeating. So good, uh, good that, uh, that video helped. And any, anything else after that? Uh, uh, so how I prepared, I'll huh. start telling that. Huh. First of all, uh, Merchant Navy Decoded. It's the website that is created by Chief Engineer Taranit Mehta. Uh, and, so, and whoever is watching, we are not. This is not paid. Okay, we are just telling because uh, this has been told by the juniors, and yeah. everyone is telling. So can you repeat it again? Uh, Merchant Navy Decoded. It's the platform Merchant Navy name. Decoded. Yeah, okay. that's the platform name. The package that I took is the Dreamer package. Huh. And also if you like there is another package called as excellence package also which covers the written test, 
uh, it has electrical package and also this dreamer package included but what i took is the dreamer package and dreamer is roughly around uh what i took it for is around 1000 rupees so 1000 1500 within that okay so just be there and this is merchant navy is also open for mechanical and electrical yeah. so it's so this is also there for the electrical then uh i think they include and, ma'am yeah and ec branch also did apply so it, this is open for even them uh. they have eto we have gme mm-hmm. and uh, later i would write uh, like to really recommend a whatsapp channel and a youtube channel call as uh, the youtube channel name is come on let's learn and the whatsapp name is let's learn So I think I'll give the link to ma'am. Uh, yeah, we'll put in the description. So there, uh, it's basically a lot of people who has already cleared their Anglo Eastern exam and is ready to guide the future aspirants. So it's purely working on goodwill. You don't have to give any money towards them. They will take your uh, technical discussion, whatever they are doing regarding this Dreamer package itself. So it's like a collaborate collaboration between uh, Dreamer package and. Uh, the people who has cleared it because almost as i have seen almost all who have cleared anglo eastern has took the dreamer package or the excellence package or the excellence package excellence but that same thing yeah. all right and then okay so this is really help you isn't it and uh, i would strongly recommend that you do it in the beginning of the second year or the third year latest by third year yeah latest by third year please don't wait for further because seven semester end ex- uh, seven semester companies come and we never know when they come and you and you have do your projects and so many other things you know the companies are there you know campus recruitment back to back so don't leave anything later on uh, beginning of third year or would you say even second year is okay yeah ma'am like uh, maybe at the end of second year or starting of third year you can start it's yeah. an ideal time it gives you a lot of time to cover entire dreamer package and further if you want because in my interview electrical questions also was asked uh-huh. so you have to cover that part also yeah so better in third year beginning of third year or end of second year So Rakshit, how was the interview for you? Ma'am, it was very hard mm. for me. Basically, usually there are three panelists. This was a new panelist for us, and uh, the interview lasted for around two hour and fifteen minutes, which uh. is a very long time for an interview. Yeah, I know, two hours and fifteen yeah. minutes. Yeah. All right. And all my colleagues got around one hour thirty minutes uh, uh-huh. interview. I got around two hour fifteen. Even minutes. one hour thirty is pretty long. Yeah. Uh. And uh, it involved first of all non-technical questions like about your introduction. about your family why wa- why you want to join merchant navy and he wanted to assess my mental capabilities also so he asked me when have you faced a failure and how you overcame it mm. then uh, then we move on to technical okay questions. i just pause you here see even though it's non technical it is not that it is not related to the job because once they know what is your family background like suppose many times there's an only kid so they know that maybe this person may not join you know that, not that they will not join but there is a possibility did you get it in your background based on that you know they get a lot of ideas inputs because they want to see someone who's really sure to join not only join finish the training and also join later on so they don't want people to drop out in between so they have to make the right choice so that's why these persons yeah. are asked, also, even though ma'am also in your non technical they try to assess your communication skills yeah That because you will be dealing with people uh, internationally so there you go then uh, apart from all the challenges language is also a challenge so naturally they don't want to yeah. you know they want to get rid of all that in the first stage itself yes. that's why the screening and students i'm telling this not only for this any question that is asked it looks like it's a non technical question and it's not important it is important otherwise they are also not wasting their time asking tell me about yourself tell me about your family tell me about all this no this is just to gauge you because to map you for the role yes technical and your personality both together make you a, the, the complete whole yeah then we move on to technical question mm-hmm. where we where he asked about ships mm-hmm. like what are the parts of ship what are the rooms available in ship how do you know all this uh, again ma'am like because i am in vicinity of this uh, let's learn community huh. their people have already joined uh, anglo eastern so they help me in this sorts and okay. they constantly keep chatting in whatsapp uh, regarding what and all they did and otherwise their, uh, i think you would have been clueless yeah. i would have been clueless and because of that i got some idea about it huh. and uh, then he started with ic engine concept which took around one hour he asked everything about type of diesel engines how crankshaft works how camshaft works how rocker arm works so you have to go very in depth about engines and also not any engines marine engines two stroke marine engine or a four stroke marine engine that they use on ship you have to go very in depth about it okay so and uh, there is a syllabus again for this and there's a very famous book also yeah uh, diesel engines by aj watton okay so that you read yeah that basically he also asked me how i prepared i told this book's name also and i told that i referred some senior uh, suggestion and uh, took some other notes and he also dropped a mail because this book was suggested yeah. to us by yeah. the panelist uh, who had come right so that all the students let them go through that book 
So and uh, another thing is that after I see engine concepts over there, then he moved on to refrigerators. Uh-huh. Where he asked every components, uh, told me to explain each and every com- components very. Na- uh deeply huh. then he asked me about refrigerants that we use then uh, then he moved on to the compressors then we at the last he started talking about pumps he okay, wanted can you, can you specify some of the questions like you know you still spoke of refrigeration yeah. this and all like what so questions? basically you will have no idea about it until you start referring the dreamer package so after you st- uh, refer the dreamer package then you'll understand what i'm telling right yeah, now yeah but still get the yeah. give a clue so uh, he asked me how the dryer works uh-huh. then he asked about the sensing bulb capillary tube then he asked about lp cutout that is there in a refrigerator then he asked what is the refrigerant that is used in domestic purpose and even in the marine industry uh, then about uh, uh, what will happen if we if you leave the refrigerator door open and and i see engines he asked me about the type of diesel engine that he want the answer that he wanted was cross set type engine and truck type engine that is not taught in our syllabus you have to go to the dreamer package for this and uh, coming to the compressor he asked me why we use multi stage compressor why the first stage compressor has a higher uh, bore diameter for its uh, piston then uh, about pump he asked me classification of pump he asked me priming he asked me about npsh concepts then we asked me what will happen if air is present inside the pump so this is like a very detailed question that he asked to make sure that you understand everything about the concept and at the last uh, he asked me about uh, electronic like how three phase induction motor works how a dc generator in a ship works so these are the some of the questions that yeah good asked. because when you when he talks about the question then people get an idea otherwise yeah. why dreamer package you know anyone will think and, and here we are not here to promote dreamer package yeah. if you can study by yourself is great but you will understand this is all all those depths is yeah. not taught yeah. in the class so what pranit sir does it with the guy who did the platform uh. he makes sure to like understand every concept uh. make sure the entire syllabus is present at the one place so that your preparation time is cut short uh. and also he talks in marine terms which also helps you to clear the interview okay all right so anything else to add and uh, at the last he asked me like i have uh, asked you interview for your 2 hours do you have any question you want to ask me so i asked some basic questions so you are a chief engineer would you recommend this career for me huh. then he told his entire story how he reached chief engineer then i told him about uh, the safety conditions in anglo eastern the food condition the port leaves So I think I at this point I wanted to slightly impress him to tell him that I know something about uh, okay, ships. So right. this is basically what I did. All right. So any tips for your juniors who are watching because mechanical, uh, electrical, and even EC people can apply. Yeah. So if you are uh, applying for uh, mechanical, it is GME. If you are uh, applying for electrical, it's ETO. And uh, the tips I would like to give is what I followed first by the Dreamer package. Uh, join this let's learn group and the youtube channel and come there even now right now even i'll help you uh, clear your interview maybe for the next year at least i can get you started because i have joined uh, as the people who is teaching future aspirants right now so you're now teaching uh, yeah, now uh, i am teaching others yeah wow uh, and uh, the tip that i would like to give is be sure of your answer you have to be very calculative about the answer you give because if you give any unexplained terms or terms that you don't know about he will ask you cross questions regarding it and at that point if you are unable to answer that is a demerit point for you so you have to be very calculative about the answer that you give right. and uh, it is also always recommended that you practice in a front of mirror giving answers and i have seen many people do that also all right so thank you rakshit very much and uh, we will add whatever he has spoken no those links in the description and another thing is if you are a junior third year second year so please meet rakshit while he is in campus because you will get more idea it's not that you will reach the final year then you are applying for uh, merchant navy and then you open this video and then you see it would have been too late and then many times if you want to reach out to rakshit he'll be there in his course and even if you reach out linkedin whatsapp whatever it's very difficult because everyone's got their own life so please uh, you know reach out to your, uh, your seniors while in campus this is not only for rakshit any other senior please if you want any other tip or anything you know re- regarding resumes and all that projects what sort of project to do how to do how to study this company that company what do i need to study for mechanical company what are the fundamentals please uh, get in touch with all your junior uh, seniors because they are in campus in fact some of them are there in campus not everyone because in the 8th semester many of them are going for internships but still if you spot them around 
go and say hello and ask them for these tips. Thank you very much and it's bye for both of us. Thank you. Yeah.